I'm Andreas Apitz. In my series on one-hand voicings for jazz piano, this video will address the B position voicings for the 251 progression in minor keys. In the last two videos of the series, we practiced the A position voicings. And in analogy to the major cadences, I would like to introduce another set of voicings, consequently called B position. Of course, I was teasing when I just played the voicings with changing hands on every chord. This could be an additional way of practicing by intentionally disrupting the routine. But let's acquire the routine first, which is playing the entire cadence with one hand. Let's start in the key of C minor. On the two chord, D minor 7 flat 5, or D half diminished, I would now start with a third inversion. The 5 chord G7 is a dominant chord as it contains the leading tone B natural. I explained this in video number 6 of the series. The first inversion will fit best here in terms of voice leading. The one chord C minor, the basic C minor scale would suggest a minor seventh chord type here. In third inversion again. Here's the entire cadence with basic chords. Now I will accent the main guideline by playing it with the other hand. The seventh of the two chord descending to the third of the five chord, the leading tone, Ascending again by half step into the root of the one chord. As with the A position voicings, I'd like to add color by replacing some of the notes. On the two chord, I would replace the minor third again by the fourth. just as I did in the A position. I could use this voicing, but because of the minor second interval in the upper voices, I would suggest another more stable sounding voicing by dropping the flat fifth down an octave. In fact, it's no more the third inversion, but the second one of the basic chord D minor seven flat five with a replacement of the third by the fourth. However, this one will, maybe surprisingly, make a good match with the other voicings. On the V chord, G7, I will replace the root again by the ninth. And as it's an altered dominant chord, sharp nine as well as flat nine are available. I opt for the flat 9 in this case. As with the A position voicing, I also replace the 5th by the altered 13th. On the 1 chord, I also skip the root for the 9th. And again, the flat 7 for the 6th. Here's the entire cadence in C minor with B position voicings. By choosing this particular inversion of the two chord, the upper voice of the cadence has the same kind of melodic movement as the one in A position. 
half step up, half step down. Which to me sounds very pleasing. Let's play the progression with the left hand through the descending circle of fifths. Remember the rule of thump, D below middle C as the lowest note for the voicings. I will conclude by playing the cadence with the right hand via the ascending circle again. That's it for now. I would appreciate your likes, comments and subscriptions to my channel. Bye, see you next time.